Okay, let's see. She's staring at something. Oh, now she's not looking at something. Ugh, why do you stop doing it as soon as I bring the camera out? Yes, I'm recording you. From part one, at this point, you should have your front and back patterns cut out and ready to go, as well as your elastic guide also cut out and ready. So let's go ahead and get our fabric ready. You're going to place your pattern on top of your fabric, and if you're using a pattern that has a print on it that goes in a certain direction, make sure that you are paying attention to the direction of your fabric. That way you don't get one that's upside down and one right side up or something like that. To line up your pattern on your fabric, you want to make sure that your grain line is running parallel to your selvage edge of your fabric. When you get that all cut out, it should look something like this. When you get that done, you should have two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back. So to put our pants together, we're going to go ahead and sew a front piece with a back piece. The back piece is going to have three notches and the front is going to only have two. So with right sides together, you're going to put the back side on top of the front piece. Now comes the leg part of your pieces. And you're gonna match this notch that's right here. I'm gonna put a pin right where that notch is and then you're gonna to wanna to pin all the way down your pant leg. So I went ahead and serged my leg, but if you don't have a serger, you can just use a straight stitch, that's fine too. And now you'll just repeat on the other leg. So now we're gonna go ahead and combine our leg pieces together. So we're gonna be sewing up our center seam. So you're gonna to wanna to unfold one pant leg and place the other pant leg right on top. We're gonna to do the same thing that we did earlier, right sides together. So put a pin in the seams right here at the center and you wanna go ahead and pin it all the way up. And when you're done, it should look something like this. So now we're gonna sew up our side seams. So once again, we're going to put right sides together and we're going to pin all the way down. Make sure you are matching your notches on your side seams. So now on the top of our pants, we're going to make a casing. I folded it down one inch and a half. So taking your seam gauge, measure out one inch and one half and then go ahead and pin it. And you're going to want to do this all the way around your casing. So I took an iron and I ironed it all the way around to get a nice crisp edge. And then I took my seam gauge again and I measured out one fourth of an inch. This is going to be how much I fold under. That way you don't see the raw edge of the fabric. And you want to use your seam gauge and do this all the way around. When you're done pinning, it's going to look something like this. Now I put two pins right here, that way that tells me not to sew past these two points because you're going to want to leave this spot open. And the reason you want to do that is that you can fit your elastic band inside. So you're going to want to take this to your machine, start at these two pins and sew all the way around and then stop here. So it's going to look something like this. And so now we have this little opening. So now taking your elastic, you're going to want to get your guide. And you're going to start wherever your measurement is, lay your elastic band there, and then go across your guide to your measurement that you want on the other side. Make sure you don't stretch the elastic. So 
once you get your measurement for that, you're going to go ahead and cut it out. So to feed this through your casing that you just made, you're going to want to attach a safety pin to the end of it and then stuff it through. It's going to be a little tedious to get it through the casing, but just kind of work with it until it comes out the other end. Make sure you spread the fabric evenly across your elastic. And now we're going to go ahead and join our two ends together. I'm going to overlap my elastic bands just half an inch. So how I'm joining these two pieces is I'm going to sew a rectangle around the ends and then I'm going to make one diagonal stitch down the center of my rectangle. So here's a little guide of what I'm going to be sewing. So to go around the corners, you're going to stick your needle into your elastic, lift the presser foot, and then turn it until you get to your next line to sew. And so I didn't film the diagonal part, but this is what we're going to be sewing. It's basically a rectangle and then you're going to want to make a diagonal stitch right down the center of your rectangle. So this is how it should look like with the rectangle and the diagonal stitch right down the center. Now you just want to fold back the rest of that fabric inside and make sure it's nice and even with the rest of your casing and then take it to your machine and follow your stitching to close this hole. So when it's done, it should look something like this. And take it back to your machine once again and go ahead and stitch right here just to make sure the elastic doesn't move around or get twisted. To finish our pants, we're going to work on our cuffs. So, Taking your seam gauge again, you're going to measure up one inch and one fourth. And like we did earlier with our casing, you're going to want to measure one inch and one fourth all the way across, pin it, take it to your iron, and then come back and then fold down the raw edge of your fabric one fourth of an inch. It should look like this. And then you'll want to take it to your machine, stitch close to this folded edge. And now your pajama pants are done! So to make this pajama set a set, we're going to want to make the top. To make the top, I'm going to be using our knit top pattern. For the center piece, I'm going to be using the flannel Dr. Who fabric. And then for the rest of the shirt, I'm using this really lightweight, super soft knit fabric. Now this is pretty thin, so I wouldn't normally use this on an everyday shirt, but for sleepwear, it's going to be really comfortable and really breathable. And so just follow the steps to make the knit top as we did before, and your pajama set is done! So it is a little ill-fitting on my mannequin because it is a size larger, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the pajama set looks like. So good luck if you try this out and I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you next year.